Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your mid-October 2016 uh, tarot reading. So this is the mid-month reading. I've laid out the cards for you, so let's just go right into it. Um, one of the first things I'm seeing here at the center of the spread is the Page of Cups, which basically indicates a lot of um, uh, solicitations for invitations and, and things like that, for friendships, for going out, for socializing, and for having a really good time, okay? And I, I feel like you're making quite a splash when it comes to, you know, entering a new social environment, getting a lot of, like, uh, positive reception, people receiving you very well, and just, you know, people wanting your attention and wanting to, I guess, like, to coax you to go out and to expand your social circle. So over Overall, things are looking very good on the social front, on the dating front overall, okay? What I'm feeling is, um, I do see as well, there's a little bit of restriction when it comes to finances. So we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, which basically means that you're not making as much money as you'd like. There are um, many of you out there that are, you know, just... Um, I feel like you're not making, you know, enough where you have like an exorbitant amount of disposable income in order to do all of these social activities. I do feel as well, based on responsibilities that are on your plate right now, uh, there might not be as many opportunities for travel, for, you know, expansion geographically. So that is something that you're thinking about. You want to take a trip, you want to travel, you want more, you know, to like have a change of scenery. But I feel like the opportunities are not uh, presenting themselves financially or even like the, you, you might not even have the time to take these trips. I do feel like, you know, trips and things like that uh, towards the end of the year. So I would say like, especially December and also in the uh, January timeframe, I, I feel is highly indicated for any types of travel opportunities that you're hoping to do. What I'm also sensing is um, we do have here for a lot of you, um, I see you being the helper. It, it's sort of like you you are the one that comes to everybody's rescue, okay? And um, not only do you come to other people's rescue, I feel like other people come to you. Um, so, so you might volunteer your services or people just randomly come to you. They come for advice. They come for, for like a helping hand. I don't see so much advice. I don't see you like giving them counsel or talking to them. I feel it's more like, um, you know, giving somebody a helping hand, helping them do something that they're either not able to do mentally or physically. So I see you doing things for other people and, um, I want you to be um, a little bit cautious about this because I feel like you're overextending yourself, okay? And, um, you know, like, it's it's detrimental when we when we try to help but we're not able to. We need to, like, um, we, we need to pull back our energy and also we need to, all, to, to know what we're able to do and not do, okay? So just something to keep in mind about because I feel like you're overextended. And I also feel that the other people are capable of taking care of themselves. So I feel for those of you who are dealing with children, I feel they're testing boundaries, okay? So if like they're capable of doing it themselves, but they want you to do it or they want you to do it with them so that they have this sense of camaraderie, that's up to you. But I, I feel like they're coming to you for a helping hand and they don't really need it. And on top of that, you don't have the time. So teach people to be self-sufficient, I feel. that That's the best way to go about this, okay? Um, what I'm also feeling is um, I, I do see a little bit of cabin fever. Uh, I feel like for some of you, you're cooped up in the house and I don't know why. It could just be you're busy. It could just be, you know, you, you have to supervise some children or you have to be at home for whatever reason that is. I do feel this is um, the month, especially the second half of this month, is when you're going to break out a little bit and to, you know, go out, to mingle, to socialize and, and all of those things. Um, I do feel financially things are a little bit slow this month. Um, you're not making as much money as you used to. And especially for those of you who are on a commission or on a uh, contract basis, you might not see a lot of money coming through or it, it might the paycheck might get delayed until November and December. And I feel like December is a really, really good month for some type of financial breakthroughs, okay? Um, we do have the Fool showing up here and um, it, it's lined up with some cards that are a little bit problematic. For those of you who are out dating, you know, um, 
just um, having a good time or trying to find new date suitable partners i definitely feel that there is an air sign in your midst aquarius gemini and libra and um, you want to be a little bit careful because um, we have here the what is this the king it's the king of swords in the reverse and the fool is heading right to it okay um take it slow with this air sign take it slow i feel like they're very very busy they travel a lot. I feel as well they might not have all the time in the world to be a good relationship to you. So I feel like they they might be a little bit more um, like nonchalant than you would like. And as a relationship partner, they seem to me to be a little bit cool, a little bit cold and distant. Okay, And honestly, I feel like they might not have the time or you just don't have the time. And if, you know, if it's just like a friends with benefits type of a situation, this person would be perfect. But I feel like, you know, you, you just want to be careful. Take it very, very slowly, okay? They seem to me to be like a, a good person, very intelligent, well-traveled. And, you know, uh, there's a, a spark of passion between the two of you. But I feel like it's going to be a very, very short-term thing, okay? For those of you dating fire signs specifically, there is a really, really strong connection. And I feel like this person makes you feel uh, like a child again. So I see puppy love. I see like... Um, I see like a, a lot of possibilities for a very passionate, exciting, fun, lighthearted, um, good time. And um, for some of you, this person might be younger than you. So, you know, they, they might be biologically younger or just um, emotionally younger. But I feel like they're very, very, like, um, very playful, very nice. They, they take you to a lot of cool places. So I do see a lot of sightseeing with this person. They might, you know, show you around. They might... Um, teach you a lot of cool things. So I, I do see outdoors, I do see sports and, and you know, overall, a lot of like, I'm seeing micro brews, like craft beers for some reason. So that's very positive. And I, I feel like it has a lot of potential here with this um, fire energy, okay? Uh, others dealing with a, a water sign specifically from the past, I do see some reconciliation. Reconciliation is not about rekindling a relationship, okay? It's kind of like agree to disagree. That's reconciliation. And then moving forward. And I do feel like the, with the water sign, it has a lot of history. It has a lot of like um, chemistry as well. But it's next to the world in the reverse, which means that there this unfinished business ne needs to be wrapped up and needs to be left behind. So don't dilly-dally on that because you're missing out on opportunities with new people, Okay. What I'm also feeling is, um, I feel for some of you, by the end of this month, you might be solidifying your options on the dating front. So if you have like, you know, three people, uh, water, water, earth, and fire signs, then I feel that you're going to let two of them go and pursue, um, you know, one option. So I feel a lot of you might be the the fire sign or the air sign. A lot of you are very interested in that air sign. Um, he or she seems very intelligent. So I feel like this is somebody who is a little bit more savvy with communication. Um, they might enjoy electronic communication. So you're getting a lot more attention from this person. But overall, um, I do feel somebody who is a little bit exotic. I feel like you're going with the person who is a little bit more exotic, who is a little bit more I'm sorry, You're. I feel like some of you might go with somebody who is a little bit more exotic, like darker skin, darker features is what I'm sensing. Or someone who has like some type of contrast from you. And then I see others of you might go with like the, the really conventional person, the one that wants a family, wants a relationship, wants a little bit more of a solid option. So I, I do see more air signs and fire sign figuring prominently and especially that air sign there's something there I feel like an intellectual connection between the two of you that makes you feel quite good so you might go with this person even though um, I feel like the relationship might be a little bit difficult to you know come together okay so I do see some challenges but I do feel that um, you, you've got good options you've got good options on the table um, so financially for this month, not looking too hot. So be very careful about spending or overspending. Uh, I see you going out a lot, which is great. I see a lot of text messages, a lot of like communication, music. Um, 
communication from family, planning a trip to see family members, uh, especially, you know, like uh, siblings that might have new children and things like that. So I definitely see um, a, a element of family vibe heavily in, in the um, at, coming in at the end of this month. And um, what I'm also sensing is there is this water sign that is kind of like confusing, okay? So the water sign shows up here as a page of cups. This is somebody that you have a history with. And um, I would say that, I, I would say that, like, I see some type of a stalemate. I see, like, not seeing eye to eye. And I see, like, you kind of, like, um, you both, like, like, moving around each other, dancing around each other, skirting the issue. And I do see like, um, you know, it's like when you interact with somebody and there's that elephant in the room that no one wants to bring up. It's sort of like that. I see this really uncomfortable vibe and, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I don't see it, <coughs> excuse me, I don't see it going anywhere. So, the end of this month, we have the Judgment card. And the Judgment card, once again, Capricorns, is urging you to start a new beginning for yourself. We have the Fool card. So it's basically like, whatever is in your past, you're done and, and done with it. So it is really important for you to sever some ties and go with new people, make some new decisions for yourself, and to move in a direction that you haven't done before, okay? So I do feel this is, um, the, the next two weeks is going to be like the finality, okay? Things are going to get wrapped up whether or not you want to, them to. And I feel as well that, you know, some things are going to be laid to rest and you're moving on to more exciting social interactions, more lighthearted energies, and you're leaving behind heavy emotional burdens in work, in, you know, the, the everyday grind, and especially in relationships, and especially like social relationships that can be romantic or friendship. But I feel you are no longer like putting yourself through heavy emotional burdens, heavy emotional demands, and especially confusing relationships, okay? So props to you. I do wish you the best. Uh, take care of yourself and have a wonderful Halloween as well. Um, wish you the best. Take care. Bye-bye.